Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Ritchie and I want to thank you for joining us again. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Bruce Gustafson, one of our optometrists here at the Ritchie Eye Clinic, and we are going to talk about a subject that Dr. Gustafson has taken a real interest in. We're going to talk about low vision. But Dr. Gustafson, I've heard you refer to low vision as special vision. Tell me what you mean by these two terms and what people should think about. Yeah. When we think about low vision, a lot of times we think about you know, losing our vision, we can't see much anymore, but, but actually that affects everybody. I mean, even people at a younger age just don't see the way they normally would. Sometimes that's affected by different diseases, you know, glaucoma, you know, cataracts, uh, retinal detachments, macular degeneration, and so on. So it can just be what we're not seeing as good as what we would like to. So when we talk about low vision and the people that should be interested in low vision, it's a wider group of people than simply advanced macular degeneration. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what we want to do and what we try to do at the clinic is help identify people. Maybe their vision's dropped because they've had some eye disease but recovered some. Their vision may be 2040, 2050, which is good but not great. And these are people where we can now explore options that might make their life better. We might make their reading better. Now you've got an array of gadgets here. Why don't you take us through some of these? Okay. Uh, one other thing I didn't mention too is people have hobbies, you know, or they work at a close distance, need something magnified, you know, that sort of thing. So even people whose vision's excellent but just need some help. The first thing is you got to have good light, and that's true with anybody. And you want the light position between your eyes and what you're looking at. Okay, so you don't want the light up here shining down onto your object because that'll cause glare in your peripheral vision. Two, remember how I used to tell your kids all the time, sit up straight, you know, and have good posture? The same holds true with our eyes. Um, the devices we use, we've got a, a few different ones here that are, are kind of uh, work very well. This is about the size of a credit card, and it magnifies two to four times, so it's easy to stick in your pocket, you know, in your purse, or whatever. But it also has a light on it. And uh, has an LED light on the back. And uh, so you need more light. You need much more light than what you did previously. And But it's very compact, okay? Easy, pretty, you know, not real noticeable. Uh, so this would be thing. something that I could carry with me. I could use this at a restaurant. I could use this when I'm writing out a check. Sure. Mm -hmm. Very handy. This is another one we call a handheld magnifier. It's a little bigger than the one I showed you, okay? A little bit more cumbersome, but it works very well to look up a phone number, you know, to, you're probably not gonna read with it because you gotta hold it just right and so on, but it's good for just looking up something, seeing the thermostat, seeing the dial on your stove and so on. And that would, also has a light on that, it. And that would magnify more than this. Yes. So for people who need greater magnification, right. that's going to be a little better. These will come in all kinds of different strengths. So depending on what your vision is determines the strength we go with them. Sometimes people will come in and they'll say, I've tried them, they don't work. They come in all different corrections and that's what we determine when you come in. This one here is, is kind of neat in the sense that it's like the ones we just showed you, but we can actually freeze the frame. So you could look up a phone number, hit a button, it'll freeze that phone number on the screen. Now you can take it over to the phone and dial your number. This is another device that works quite good. It actually clips on your glasses, okay, and this comes in different strengths. And if you're reading or doing any kind of hobby or craft, it can be flipped up so it's out of your way to go into the kitchen or to go wherever. When you come back, you can flip it down again. And again, this comes in different strengths. Um, this is what we call a stand magnifier. If you're going to read, this is probably one of the best ones in the sense that you're going to set it right on the material you're reading, so you don't have to keep this distance right like you do with the others. You just set it right on the paper or the book. You simply slide it on the material you're looking at. And again, this also comes in different strengths and has what we call an LED light. Um, then also sometimes it makes it easier. If you have bifocals, you have a progressive lens, you know, you have to hit the right part of your lens. So we'll go with special lenses where the whole lens is all one prescription. So you don't have to worry about where you're looking out of the lens. Everything is set for the specific distance that uh, we prescribe the glasses for. Now, where this can be very helpful, too, is not only do you not have to worry about head position, but for some people in need of these devices, 
it allows them to use whatever vision they have and every bit of their vision to read. So it can be very helpful in that respect. Yep. And um, then another thing that, that actually is pretty useful, if you use a computer, this is a little device that you'll put into your USB or it can actually be downloaded on your computer and you can change the font. You can change your cursor to whatever size you want, whatever color. You could make the font so big in your computer, you know, that you're just seeing one or two letters. So if you love working on the computer and it's gotten harder, this is a little device that you can totally control the size and it also has uh, speaking ability so it'll talk to you as you go to the different things so you know where you're at. So this is just a computer program that you can download onto your computer. So this would be valuable for anyone who uses a computer and says, gee, by the end of the day I'm struggling. Mm -hmm. Many computers limit the amount that you're able to change the font. This overrides that, is that right? And very easy if you travel or whatever, you just take it with you, it can be in your pocket, you go to a motel, you can stick it into the USB. It doesn't affect the computer long term because once you pull it out, the computer goes back to what it was before. So if you have a family member, it's not going to affect them when they use it either. And then the last thing we're just going to discuss is what we call a CCTV. Basically what this does is you put your printed material underneath. You could also learn to write with it. You could look at pictures. But here we can increase the size of print up to 60 times. Okay? And so kind of the point of all this and the thing I like to talk to people about, sometimes we give up. Okay? We just kind of quit doing things. And most of the time with any disease we have, we do have some usable vision. And we just take that usable vision and find the devices, okay, that can enhance the usable vision we have to be able to do the things that, you know, we'd like to do. And um, So the take-home message is find out about the options and find out what we can do. We do have a lot of things that we can use to help people who are struggling with their vision. So whether it's macular degeneration, glaucoma, retinal disease of other kinds, block blood vessels, retinal detachment. Talk to us and let's see what we can do to maximize your vision. Thank you for joining us and Dr. Gustafson, thank you for your expertise. Yeah, you're welcome.